Project Thank You here. Today I'm just going to go through a quick tutorial with you on how you can create a Facebook cover picture using the new Diamond Doodles background and some of the glitter elements that I've made available for you in this month's Sparkle Bundle package. Okay, so if you're not already familiar with Project Thank You Design Studio, I'll just show you around quickly. Here's the home page. Along the top in the menu here are the different product categories that you've got available. So you've got social media, ebooks and workbooks, flyers, posters, stationery, cards, client gratitude, vision boards, printables, and infographics. Today, just an as an example, I'm going to go into the social media section and we're going to open the cover image. Just click a few details to open it up. Along the bottom are some of the templates available for you, so you can edit any of these, you can open them up, change all of the colours, change the fonts, add your own images, upload them from Facebook, upload them from your desktop, um, basically brand them to suit your uh, company colours. Or you can start from scratch, which is what we're going to do today, so you just click on this image that says personalise here. It will then open up the template in the Design Studio. So this is a blank template in the correct size that we've got here. So what we're going to do is we are going to upload the background. So we'll just click up here, Upload. Click this tick to say that you've got the rights to use these images. And then you're going to go on this Upload button here. To add the files from the desktop, going to add the diamond doodles background. I've made that the correct size for the Facebook cover image. Um, you can actually just edit it yourself or you can upload the full size one. Or actually we do have this background uploaded into the backgrounds of this onto Project Thank You so you could just add it straight from here. So that should have uploaded now. Just go through the images. There it is in the image gallery so just click to add. make it the right size. Okay, so we've got our diamond doodles background added. Now what we're going to do is just add a shape on top. So we're going to go to the shapes panel up there, select the rectangle and just draw a shape like that. Okay, so I'm going to change the colour of that. Go so to change the colour, you just click on the colour panel there. I'm going to go with this coral colour here. All the images, the shapes, sorry, will automatically have a border on them, so I'm just going to go to this border panel and remove the border. There we go. I think we'll add our own border, so I'm going to draw another rectangle just here. Change the colour again. We'll go on the colour slider. That's a nice colour goes nicely with the coral. Remove the border again. There we go. So that's looking nice. What I'm going to do now is just add a little decorative element. So I'm going to click into the art folder. We've got all these different sections with different design elements that you can add. Uh, if I go into the headers section, I'm going to select this zigzag here. Use the arrows to move it along make it a little bit bigger and just rotate there to 90 degrees. There we go. So anything that we add from the art panel you can change the colour of. So you just click into that yellow, change the colour there, it's a nice pink colour. That looks a bit cool, this is looking quite summery. <laughs> okay so that's looking good for starters. So now we're going to add some text. Um, what should we write? Shine bright like a diamond channeling a bit of Brianna today. Okay. Just make that a bit bigger. Okay, I'm going to change the font now. Go through here. Let's see what do we fancy today? that one. I'm going to change the line spacing a bit so just using this slider can tighten it up a bit there. 
bring it up a bit bigger. I just rotate a bit. Okay, so if you want to change the color again, obviously just go back into the color palette. I think I'm going to change it to the coral, but make it a slightly lighter tone to contrast against that coral background. It's looking nice. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload one of the glitter elements that was also in the bundle pack. So back to the upload panel, add files. I'm going to pick this glitter banner, start upload. There we go. Let's make that a bit smaller. we can add the, your web address onto the glittery banner that will look quite cool so it's yourwebsite.com obviously you'll have noticed that when you add just one line of text it automatically comes in with a curve on it like that which is quite cool because unlike some programs this makes it really easy to curve your text so we can reduce that by just going to this slider here if you wanted to reverse curve it, you just tick that up the slider again, okay? So I'm going to change the font, something quite bold. Try that one. Put it in this banner. And tick reverse and curve it just so it matches the curve of the banner. Make it a little bit smaller. There we go. And just try some different colours, see what works for you. It doesn't really stand out as much. There we go. So there you have. Obviously you can play around a little bit more if you wanted to add your logo in, then you could do that or some other images and um, some more art design elements whatever you fancy really but that's just an example of how you can play around and create a nice Facebook cover picture using the new background okay guys so then once you've finished that all you would do is click save design um, the option would come up to name your design you would pop a name in and then it would say go to your design and you could um, go to your design and download it as either a PDF a PNG or a JPEG and then you can share it on Facebook Okay, I hope you liked that tutorial. Um, good luck creating your own Facebook cover picture and I'll be back with more tutorials soon. Thanks very much. Bye.